All right, so I just brought this tangled ass cord for winter, all right? We're using this cord to plug in cars, so. And it's never been really treated properly. I inherited this cord from my uncle. So you see how it doesn't really want to form a loop. Okay, so I twisted it there and I'll twist it again. And the reason for this video is I want to untangle this cord, right? But no matter how many times, like you'll see over here, you'll see the dirt marks, okay, of how this has been wound improperly, okay? So hope you can see this, okay? Now, there's many ways that you could do this, but I'm gonna just show you how, see how it's kind of bunching up? So I'm just kind of trying to unwind it. All right, that looks okay. And <laughs> like, just like that, all right? So it's been outside all winter. I use this cord to plug in my car. And so now I'm just gonna unwind it. And see how it wants to bunch? So I'm just gonna try to untangle it as best I can. Like, <laughs> there you go. And I've tried just about every method to wind up cords. Now, I'm not the only person that winds up cords in this house, so all of a sudden I'll see a whole stack of cords from the winter or whenever, just kind of laying in the garage, okay? So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna hang it up and I'm going to try to warm it up. Like it's nowhere near summer, all right? Ultimately, I love to toss this in the backyard and stretch it out in a nice plus 20, plus 30 summer day, but this is what I do in Saskatchewan. Let's get to it. All right, so I got this hanging up and I have a heat gun here and I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to heat up the extension cord, okay? Because it needs to release the memory from years and years of twistedness, okay? So I'm not saying this is going to be 100%, all right? but it should help, okay? So I'm gonna heat this up. Because like I said previously, a hot summer day in the middle of your yard or wherever, and let the cord sit there for maybe an hour or two, that's the best way to release all this memory and then wind it properly. Because you can see how twisted the cord is, all right? This doesn't solve itself overnight, but it certainly helps when it's heated. So I'll continue to do this for a little while. And let's see how this improves it. All right, so I heated up this cord for about five to seven minutes. Now I'm gonna just kind of pull on it, right? Just to kind of straighten it out, right? Because it needs to release the memory. Now, there's gonna be some areas that maybe weren't heated up as much, but I wanna keep on doing this and just pull, right? Just like this. I hope this is coming out on video. Just give it some tension. Because it's stretching 
of the casing of the cord, okay? So hopefully this does the trick. Ooh, that's getting hot on the hands. All right, let's see. Not bad. A little. So maybe just kind of. So maybe just like this. Not too bad. And I'm kind of still twisting as I go. So that's kind of bunching right there. And it's not perfect. But this is gonna be an ongoing process. So this is much better than it was before.